What's up everyone, welcome to my channel, it is me, Sherlin. Today I want to make a review of my favorite mount, the Logitech D304 or D305 in some countries. And this is a user review, so I'm not going to go in depth of the, the, the spec of the mouse that much, but I want to say um, my thought on the mouse. So if you guys are ready, let's get into it. I want to start from the design of the mouse first. Um, personally, I love the design of it so much. It looks sleek, it looks nice and clean. And the mouse itself, it doesn't have like um, an aggressive looks like uh, the other gaming mouse, if you probably can see on the market. It looks really nice and you can also take it outside without look um, weird from, uh, you know, go to the cafe, go to um, somewhere and you pop up your mouse and all RGB stuff going on and people you see it. <laughs> it's not kind of ideal for going outside of that, so... I mean, it for my own, for me. And after the design, I want to move on to uh, the build quality. For me, I think the build quality is it, really worth the price, below fifty dollars, which is really nice for the build quality like this. We got um, a rubberized scroll wheel right here, which is um, giving you a really nice touch when you scroll it. Um, working all day long with this mouse never made me feel um, uncomfortable and also um texture of the mouse for the top shield and the rest of the body they used kind of a little bit different feel on the top shell and the clicks i mean the left and right mod buttons you get um a smooth feeling which is really nice when you um, you know move your finger around it and your palm while the rest of your mouse on the side you got like a little bit rough provide you more a grip when you are you know lift your mouse quickly when you're gaming which is really nice you don't you don't even need to um have a grippy mod on it the mount itself perfectly fine for game and um work you can also select power modes for the mouse. You can have uh, performance and endurance. Performance can last long up to three months, which is a lot for just a single battery. Thanks for the hero sensor. And um, six months I get for the endurance mode, which is really nice for, you know, the price. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Okay, and then I want to talk about the performance of the mouse. For gaming, it's really impressive. Uh, no lag at all as I've been using for 3 months. No lag, Ooh. no input lag. Uh, but yeah, um, it's, it's possible. Sometimes I have, I mean the router, the Wi-Fi router just uh, next to my desk. And the mouse is right here. The mouse dongle using the 2.4 gigahertz so sometimes your wi-fi router may interfere uh the signal of the dongle to your mouse so it might get a little bit of lag just sometime but it's not going to interrupt you um it's not gonna happen that often trying to stay away from uh, the router will be better for your performance so i want to say that this mouse the logitech d304 it's still really worth it in 2021 right now which is uh if you want to move from the the wide mouse to a, a wireless or looking for a new wireless mouse or a new mouse for your office is still a really good choice we also have many budget mice out there which is wireless as well like a steel series rival 3 um, the Razer Orochi V2 and Corsair Qatar Pro you probably take a look at them I'm gonna put a link below so just before we leave, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and also share to your friend. If you think the video is useful, let me know in the comment if you don't like it so I can improve in the next video. So for now, thanks for watching everyone, stay safe, see you on Twitch, have a good one.